I'm Jill's Mary Medrano, and today we are interviewing Yeyan Q, Senior Scientist of Molecular Biology at GenScript. Uh, and today we're talking about um, our new ITR platform. So what is ITR and how important is it during um, AAV production gene therapy? Okay, thank you, Jess Murray. And to answer this last question, I want to start with the AAV. Um, so aden adeno-associated virus, AAV, is a small single-stranded DNA virus initially discovered in 1965 as a contaminant during adenovirus preparation. Recombinant AAV vector is generally replacing the Y-type AAV open reading frames with a target therapeutic or marker gene expression cassette. Currently, AAV viral vector is the most widely being used. ITR, so the top, uh, topic, namely inverted terminal repeats, consists of an A to A primer, B to B primer, C to C primer, and D regions. This sequence form panadromic double-stranded T-shaped helping structure. ITR plays an important role in the virus life cycle, such as replication, amplification, epsomal persistence, and integration. ITRs are the only site active sequence required for making recombinant AAV vectors, and also the only AAV encoded sequence present in AAV vectors. Intact ITRs are crucial for high titer AAV vector production. Thank you for telling us more about what ITR is. So how does mm -hmm. an intact ITR give better AAV yield? Studies have shown that the deletion of different segments of the ITR sequence will affect the production of AAV. In details, the A to A primer region contains the rib binding elements, RBE, and the specific terminal resolution site, TRS sequence. RBE is involved in AAV genome replication, transcription, and integration. TRS is involved in AAV rescue and replication. The B to B primer and C to C regions also play a role in the binding of rep protein. Some studies have found D region matters in the AAV DNA packaging. Therefore, the intact RTR is crucial to AAV packaging. Before generating the virus, it is highly recommended to monitor the RTR integrity of the AAV plasmids by using restriction digestion and agarose gel electrophoresis. According to literature reports, less than 20 impurity is acceptable. However, several papers have confirmed that intact RTR sequence could lead to a higher yield of AAV. For example, the deletion of the B to B primer, C to C primer regions, or CPG motif of RTR reduced, a, uh, reduced AAV productivity. When transferred to SF9 cells, complete RTRs are proved to obtain up to 40 more capsids and tenfold reduction of non-AAV encapsidated DNA. Can you tell us more about how, how ITR sequencing is different from Sanger sequencing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because of the ITR its own structures that it can form a very highly stable secondary structure and the GC content is more than 80%. Thus, RTR cannot be sequenced through with traditional Sanger sequencing or NGS. To overcome this issue, GeneScript developed a Sanger-dependent RTR-specific sequencing kit that can sequence through the four ITR with good signal. And, and how does GenScript's ITR sequencing service and proprietary ITR strain stand out against competitors, and how does it accelerate gene therapy pipelines? That's a very good question. So GeneScript provides one-stop services starting from gene synthesis to virus packaging, including gene synthesis, plasmid production, gene codon optimization, mutation library construction, and virus packaging. Firstly, internal studies had shown that the success rate of colony intact RTR plasmid from commercial strains is about 40 to 60% such as NEB stable or stable three. Our proprietary ITR strain gene ITR V1 can increase that ratio to 
infers us this strain is adapted to the high yield plasmid fermentation process developed by GeneScript as well. Second, GeneScript sequencing capability is more powerful and the QC standard is more stringent. Under the same standards, GeneScript IQR sequencing pass ratio is 87.5%, while the competitor is 37.5%. In particular, GeneScript can use nanopore sequence to directly examine the ITR integrity. Third, GeneScript has extensive experience in cloning and plasmid prep of all kinds of serotype ITRs. Meanwhile, we also provide compliance service for gene synthesis, sequencing, and plasmid preparation to meet IND application. On-site audit is supported as well. To sum up, the integrity of the ITR is crucial for downstream viral packaging titer. GeneScript's ITR sequencing, priority strains, and fermentation process ensures the ITR stability and high quality of plasmids as a core material, accelerating gene therapy pipelines. What are some of the technical edges of our preclinical plasmid prep service? Um, there would be three aspects. So firstly, Prioritary ITR strain matched fermentation process and a medium guarantees ITR integrity and yield, which is up to 300 milligram per liter. Secondly, complete sequencing platforms, including Sanger, NGS, Nanopore, and associated sequencing methods effectively assess the integrity of the ITR region in AAV plasmids. In particular, the nanopore sequencing method exclusively developed by GeneScript can measure the integrity, deletion, and mutation of ITR more comprehensively. Third, we can provide comprehensive 20 QC items and customized QC services. These methods were established and validated according to the pharmacopoeia plus guiding principles of analytical methods. We also have traceable production process, perfect reporting system, dedicated production team, and a supporting decoration, both in Chinese and English. And can you tell us more about um, how stringent and cost effective our preclinical plasma prep QC is and why it matters for gene therapy development? Uh, actually, small quantities of good, small quantities of high quality GMP available plasmids are available in the market, but with high price and long deliverable time. However, the raw materials for preclinical experiments do not require GMP documents. The key is that high quality samples are required to ensure the stability of subsequent clinical experiments. So for gene script preclinical plasmid QC, considering animal experiment factors to ensure the stability with subsequent experiments, we refer to the QC standard of GMP plasmid and formulate strict QC standards. The price of the gene script preclinical plasmid is favorable, about one third of GMP plasmids, which can correctly save customers preclinical experiment expenses. Large fermenters up to 50 liters guarantees rapid production, which turnaround time is much shorter than GMP plasmids. For example, 8.8 .8 gram preclinical plasmid was delivered in 16 days. In conclusion, gene script preclinical plasmids can not only save customers preclinical experiment funds, but accelerating gene therapy pipelines. <laughs>